Hello, I'm Roger Wright, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to a brand new show here at WCTV called Why the Why. Uh, in this program, we are going to focus on the Wadsworth YMCA and all the wonderful good things and uh, people and things and events uh, that are happening on a daily basis uh, at the Wadsworth Y. And with me is my fellow board member of the Wadsworth Y, Judy Powers. Judy, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yep, it's always awesome when we uh, talk about the Y, something we both love, uh, and we, we meet as a board, and we hear all these things that are going on. And you and I have said so many times, I didn't know the what they were doing that at right. the Y. I didn't know we were doing this. Right. And there are just so many good stories that are happening, and we thought we got to share them with the community. And uh, we have WCTV right here, uh, so we wanted to do it. Absolutely. So, so when we talked about our first show, we said it's, it's the first day of summer, the first official day of summer. It's about 150 degrees outside, and there is no more popular place in Wadsworth, I bet, today than the, the pool, Wadsworth the pool. Grizzly Outdoor Pool. So we thought, uh, who, who better to have as our first honored guest as the <laughs> director of aquatics uh, at uh, the Wadsworth Y, Kathy Bugaiski. Kathy, welcome. Uh, great to have you here. And before uh, you know, we get into your questions, I want to read a little bit about your background because you have a wonderful background for the job you do. Um, you've been at the Y since its opening. Uh, you've been the aquatics director for five years. And that's one of the things that I know when we just looked at all the aquatic stuff, it blew our minds. Right. How much I Kathy is in charge of. Um, so we're going to make this interview as quick as we can because <laughs> we know you got to get back to work. But she has degrees in exercise science from Creighton. Uh, she has her master's degree in recreational administration from Nebraska. Uh, she has been a lifeguard and a swim instructor since college. We won't say how long that is. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> uh, and then she has served as a camp director for the Western Reserve Council and a recreational director for Leroy in New York. So Kathy, that is quite an extensive background, but welcome and so nice to have you here with us today. Thank you, I appreciate you having me. <laughs> All right, so we want to talk a little bit about, start off with the pools and, and we said, you know, the overall aquatics program here at the Wadsworth Y is mind blowing. So just give us a little bit of overview and talk, talk, a, talk a little bit to our audience about the overview of aquatics. Okay. Well, the, we operate three pools year round inside the building. And one of them is a partnership with SUMA that's used jointly for their patients and also for extensively about 20 hours a week. We program it for arthritis exercise classes and uh, there's some time blocked for people who want to exercise on their own as well. Uh, we also offer an I Chi class in the water, and also, uh, which we'll be talking about later, a little bit later, uh, adaptive swimming lessons is a relatively new program for us that's growing as well. Um, in the lap pool, we host two swim teams. So we have the Wadsworth High School swim team that competes here and practices here in the winter. And both in the summer and the fall winter program, we host the Wadsworth Waves youth swim team, which uh, feeds into several of the area high school teams. Um, in addition to that, we have a, a very large swim lesson program with around 90 classes that are actively going on right now. We have over 250 people in youth and adult swimming lessons. We, those are group lessons. We also have over 50 people in private, semi-private and family swimming lessons. And um, probably between all of those programs plus lap swimmers and family open swims. We're seeing right around 2,000 swims a week inside and matching that outside the two pools that we operate from Memorial Day to Labor Day at the Grizzly Pool. Um, we have day camps that swim in the morning, daycare centers, um, and then open to season pass holders and members during the day, averaging around 2,000 swims a week when the weather cooperates. <laughs> Crazy. Now you see Crazy. why we didn't know all that. <laughs> That's right. All right, you want to get to the next one? Okay, Kathy, all the pools that are here at the Y, um, of course, we need the lifeguards to help with this, the safety. Could you tell us a little bit about the lifeguard staff and the training that they go through to get their certification? Sure. Um, right now, our aquatics department has just over 100 people employed. Um, 80 plus of those are certified lifeguards. 
We have lifeguards from age 15 all the way up into their 70s. Um, it takes a wide variety. We've got nine high schools represented on our staff and all of them are Red Cross certified, including our swim coaches. The Red Cross requires, um, we do a blended learning course, so there's video trainings as well as in-person practices and trainings. And it takes a, a full week of about 30 hours in order to become certified. Those lifeguards then commit to, during their time with us, to swimming regularly for fitness laps and also attending monthly in-service trainings to continue to practice so they don't forget how to do CPR, or what the symptoms are when somebody has a medical um, medical issue that needs attention. Of course, their water saves. Uh, we, we were actually in today, about half the staff came in today to practice this morning. And I've seen you guys in there many times. <laughs> you're out there, you're get, leading the lessons, and we have pictures of you on Facebook, and mm -hmm. we, we see all the good things that go on with the lifeguards. And again, that was one of the things. I always thought the lifeguards all came from Wadsworth. Wadsworth. Right you know, high school kids and, and really, I mean, nine high schools. I mean, we get them from all over the mm -hmm. place and, and a lot of different ages. So Will that's, you be touching really on that cool. later, all the um, lifeguards that actually graduated this year and? Um, we, we actually, this is our largest graduating class. We had 18 seniors in high school. Um, many of them have been with us for two years or more and a number of them will stay with us even though they're going away to college. They'll come back on college breaks and then next summer, they, a lot of them turn into our leadership team and provide guidance and oversight for some of our younger guards that are joining us in the mm -hmm. summertime. Mm -hmm. All right. right, well in addition to all those lifeguards, we have a lot of instructors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a ton of aquatics programs uh, and so talk a little bit about the instructors and their training. Okay, um, well our swim coaches, all have competitive swim background and they also certify as lifeguards so that we always have extra eyes and ears ready for if the rescue is needed. Um, our swim instructors have the opportunity to go through a YUSA program to become a certified swim instructor and in addition every single one of them goes through a shadow shift where they work as an assistant instructor for a length of time until they gain enough experience and confidence to be on their own. Um, and that really allows us to address like wait lists so that we can put an extra teacher on a class and make the class slightly bigger so that we can serve more kids um, so that we're constantly training new staff to join our ranks. About two thirds of our lifeguard staff is crossed over to be able to teach swimming lessons. And then our water fitness staff, which is water aerobics in the lap pool as well as therapy pool classes, they um, some of us have been certified in the past and have that knowledge through the Arthritis Foundation and the Aquatics Exercise Association. And uh, they constantly are getting together as a small group just for the social aspect as well as the training aspect to stay fresh and share ideas. Okay. Another thing that we were talking about was the safety um, around water here at the Y and in the community, other places um, at home, other, you know, when they are away from the Y. I know you and this, you're in your staff um, promote water safety. Could you talk a little bit about um, what you talk to these people about when you're at the pool or, you know, anywhere around the Y? Oh, sure. <clears throat> um, so we've done some programs with school groups, daycare centers, and this summer we're doing a couple of days where we're working with directly with families where people can bring their kids in and get kind of a refresher on what to do and not to do around the pool. So with the kids we'll address, you know, not swimming when there's an adult not present. Uh, if you find the safe, the gate around the pool open to close it and make sure somebody checks the pool to make sure nobody's in there. If there's somebody in the pool that needs help, don't jump in, reach or throw, get a help, but don't go in the water. Um, just some basic skills and knowledge and facts that they can have and that the parents can reinforce at home. Not all kids will listen right away to parents, yep. but sometimes when we have backup, it sinks in a little bit more. That we kids running around the pool just <laughs> never seems to sink in, does right. it? And then we do a, a more formal program called Safety Around Water, which is specifically a drowning prevention program. Our whole, whole association is part of that. In the summertime is our busiest time. We add an extra 200 kids to our roster for teaching specifically on prevention of drowning. 
so they can save themselves and have the rescue skills needed to get back. Many of them don't have access to pools otherwise and would not get swimming lessons. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we mentioned briefly the partnership with SUMA with the therapy pool, and we'll, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But um, when this facility was built, and this is an awesome facility, when, when people come to Wadsworth, that is something that I've heard, and I'm sure we've all heard it, like that mm -hmm. is a crazy facility with the size of a high school, and then with the, the older adults, the Suprema Center, the SUMA offices, WCTV, and of course the Y. It is a massive building. Mm -hmm. And it is, you know, one of, the, one of the busiest places all the time, you know, in Wadsworth, like today, the parking lot is full. It is. There's so many times we drive by and the parking lot is full. The high school may have something on the, the going on. The Y may have something going on, Suprema. Uh, and so really, you know, we were all around when, when this was built, mm -hmm. and that was the idea. Our community leaders at the time said, we want a facility that the community will use and, and that we are using it, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Um, but talk, Kathy, talk a little bit about the partnership um, that you, we have. We, we mentioned SUMA, the schools, uh, you know, talk a little bit about mm -hmm. the, how that all works. So, so we definitely do a lot of programming with the schools. Um, the high school gym classes use the pool. They have a specific swimming gym class um, that Mr. Slag, he brings his students over and he's working with them on swimming skills at a bunch of different variety of levels. Um, then we actually have the compact classes that are working on sea perch. Um, they build submersibles and program them and they get to come over. I think it's one of their final skills tests and they come over and they drive them around in the bottom of the lap pool to see if they're working the way they were intended. And oftentimes elementary school students will also get to come over and watch that. So that's really neat to see. And then quite a few of the sports groups use the pool. Obvious, the obvious one is the swim team, but in addition, football is here on Saturday mornings. The um, wrestling team frequently, especially in postseason, is using the pool. Cross country, girls and boys track, uh, I'm probably missing some girls soccer has been in before. Um, so it's, it's really a nice way for the athletes to get that lactic acid out of their muscles and relax and stretch out a little bit. Uh, the track team, I think, really appreciates doing some resistance training, not out on the hot track. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's such a great facility here. I know you have talked before that other schools have approached you to come into our facility. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and one of our challenges definitely is being able to accommodate people but not take too much time away mm -hmm. from our, our patrons and season pass holders. Um, so, so sometimes we do have to say no, but we do have like when um, Norton's soccer team made the playoffs and they wanted to get into the pool, we made room for them. Um, we uh, have a scuba group that uses the pool once a month and they, they rent pool space from us and we try to find it at a time where it's not gonna interfere with a large number of lap swimmers or another program that's going on. Um, so we definitely have those types of situations going as well. Mm -hmm. All right, and we are a part of the Akron area wise. Mm -hmm. So we are one of six Wise in that group, and do they all have aquatics at the other Ys? And <coughs> do you guys kind of work together a little bit on some of some things? We do. There's there's five branches that have pools, and the five aquatics directors do meet monthly, um, basically to support each other, keep a lot of our safety training and things all on the same page. Um, we're all we're all Red Cross certified, so we can help each other out in the various facilities if somebody's shorthanded. Um, Wadsworth has definitely sent swim instructors and lifeguards to other branches to hump out um, for short periods of time or if there's something special going on. And um, sometimes we'll train somebody else's lifeguards if they have a need. Uh, sometimes somebody else will train our swim instructors if there's a need. So we'll basically support each other. Um, and we can, our lifeguards, if they can't quite make one of our in-services, can go to another branch for an in-service. So they have a chance to practice their CPR and things like that and stay fresh. All right, so hmm. one, one last thing before we take a tour, because we're gonna take a tour, we gotta see these cool, cool pools that we have. But um, you mentioned balancing. I, mean, I looked at all those schedules and I think, <laughs> <laughs> I don't envy you balancing time between all these groups that want water. How do you do it? Yeah. Um, a lot, the pool schedule is somewhat repetitive, so you get to know your, your flow as far as who's coming in. You're like, 
are we have a really strong presence before 9 a.m. Uh, of lap swimmers so I try not to schedule anything that would conflict with that and then um, as far as the staff scheduling that's probably the harder part um, there's a lot of in and out especially with family vacations and school activities and things we we do use an online scheduling system which is becoming more and more common um, just to make sure that you can see at a glance that all the all the eyes are dotted <laughs> <laughs> and all the pools are covered <laughs> at all at all times that's 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 amazing well let's take a tour of the all the pools around here and we'll talk to some of the people that are in them and see exactly what they have to say okay right. that sounds great <laughs> all right we moved over here to the rec pool kathy and behind us there are some happy kids having a lot of fun in the water with some water features. So talk a little bit about the rec pool and how this is used. Okay, as Roger said, this is our rec pool, otherwise known as our family pool. Um, there's a lot of open swim time that families can, can just come and enjoy the water. There are some spray features uh, and also a couple of slides, one for smaller kids and one for kids who are over 48 inches tall. Um, this pool is our medium temperature pool. It runs about 86 degrees. And uh, so therefore some of our older adults like to come in here to do exercises as well and either swim or just walk laps in the pool. Uh, right now there's a group that just finished swimming lessons who's enjoying some free time to play in the pool. And we also run a lot of our group and private swimming lessons here for our beginner levels and preschool classes and also our parent child infant classes. And these, the, the young people behind us are, are campers? See. They are. They're one of our outside groups who drives in. They get bussed here during the summer so that they can have a half hour swimming lessons, a half hour playtime. It's part of our uh, safe commitment to safety around water. Oh, awesome. All right. Well, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. Let's go and see some of the other pools. Okay. Now we are at the therapy pool, and Kathy's going to tell us a little more about this pool. Okay. The therapy pool is the pool that we run in conjunction with SUMA, and SUMA uses this pool for their physical therapy patients, and then about 20 hours a week we program it for the Y. Uh, with those 20 classes, we have uh, basically 12 people per class that receive instruction in arthritis exercise for joint mobility and balance. We have an I Chi class, and then a few hours a week we do swimming lessons, and both parent-child classes for ages six months to three years. And also we have an adaptive instructor who teaches our Drew Howe program, which is uh, specifically for kids who have special needs or fears around the water. And we're able to address that in a parent-child setting and some one-on-one -on -one lessons as well. All right, we've moved into the lap pool area now and it is beautiful, it is spacious. It is always in use, and Kathy, talk a little bit about the lap pool here at the Wadsworth Y. Okay, our lap pool opens up for morning swims during the week about 5.40 a.m., and it pretty much stays busy uh, until mid-afternoon. We get a little lull, and then uh, programming starts, and uh, we have a very healthy water aerobics program in the morning and a uh, swim team, both the youth swim team and the high school swim team who use the pool in the afternoon and early evening, as well as lap swimmers and some family swimmers and teenagers who use the pool just for fun. And as, as Roger said, it's, it's well used, uh, seven days a week, and uh, we keep the temperature about 82 degrees so that it's a happy medium for our water aerobics and our swim team kids as well. I think somebody turns it down to 65 before I get in, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. All right, we have some outstanding swimmers here in the community, uh, but we have a couple gentlemen here that we're going to talk with that really make great use of the lab pool and the facilities here. All right, I'm with Jeff Vogel, and Jeff is one of the great instructors, one of the many great instructors of the aquatics program here at the Wadsworth Y. Jeff, uh, talk a little bit about your background uh, as, a, as an aquatics instructor, and you've been here for three years. Uh, talk about your background and, and the classes that you teach. Okay. Um, I started out working in the public schools for 30 plus years, working with uh, kids uh, with special needs, both developing programs and uh, teaching. And this is my second retirement job. 
Uh, for 10 years I did adult ed here in Wadsworth, down at the bookstore. And uh, one of my mentors at the bookstore became a lifeguard here at 70. <laughs> so she knew as a kid I was a lifeguard and uh, I was a lifeguard for the Navy. And uh, she kept trying to get to meet a lifeguard. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I said, what would it take to be a, a uh, aquatics instructor? And Kathy interviewed me on the spot and <laughs> said, if you pass the training course, <laughs> we'll hire you. Yeah. And I've been doing this for three years. And it's a fantastic place. The Hawaii is uh, one of the most inclusive places you can imagine in terms of hiring people even into in, so their 70s to, to work here. And uh, the longer I'm here, the more programs Kathy has developed for uh, kids and adults with special needs. Uh, we've had a couple of interesting programs within the last year. We did a program with uh, dads and kids in the water. And we've done uh, some specific programs for kids on the uh, autism spectrum. And uh, I think you've probably looked at the therapy pool. Or that, that's part, part of the program. We do a couple of specific programs in the therapy pool because we have kids that are you know, very sensitive to noise and have other sensory issues. So it's a very quiet environment. Uh, the water in there is body temperature. And the first time I taught a lesson in there, Kathy asked me, what do you think about this? I said, I'll teach anything you want in there. <laughs> so, it's been a fantastic experience. Uh, every year I'm here, we serve a broader and broader range of people, and it's, uh, I don't know, it's really uh, a treat to see the kids being successful in the water. Okay, here we are at the lap pool, and we've got Bob McDonald. Um, just interviewing him to find out how long he's been coming here, um, what he likes about the Y, um, the fitness end of it, what would you recommend to people as far as um, on a journey to better fitness, Obviously, you're very fit, and this is what it's done to him. Obviously, I'm not a lap swimmer. Um, okay, Bob, tell us a little bit about what you do. I used to be a runner, and then I injured my back really bad and had a stroke, and pretty much uh, my self-image went right in the tank. So I bought a bike, and I rode the bike, and I wasn't very good on the bike, but I could ride it, but not very fast. So I decided to get in the pool, and uh, I started swimming, and it, when, at the start, I could do one lap down and back, and I had to stop. And so I was doing 600 yards a day, two days a week. I got some help with stroke from my sister, who's a swimming instructor, and my nephew is a high school swimming coach. And in three years, I was doing 3,000 yards a day, five days a week. So at, uh, after I retired, uh, I found that Akron uh, Pool didn't take silver sneakers, but the Y did. So I joined the Y, and I was able to swim free, basically, because of the silver sneakers program. So that was around 2013, and I've been swimming here pretty much since then. Uh, I really like this facility. It's clean, it's well lit. The uh, clocks, the pace clocks are highly visible. It's a great place to train and it's a great place to swim and the staff uh, here is fantastic. And the other swimmers are very accepting too. So the swimmers are kind of friendly people and they accept each other. Um, as for a someone embarking on a fitness program mm -hmm. I would definitely tell you to do it but start easy you know start easy and do something simple and find a place where you're going to be accepted okay so the why for me is is that place there uh, you know nobody's making fun of you and if, if they could make fun of anybody it's me in a speedo believe me so uh, <laughs> I've, I've really found the Y to be a great place, a great place to train, a great place to meet people, and uh, I've enjoyed it here, and I plan to swim here for a long time. Uh, I worked my way up in swimming. I started competitive swimming 20 years ago, and, and uh, this year, right now, I'm, at, I'm in the top five in the country in four events. That's a pretty long way to come from being a guy who couldn't swim down and back without stopping. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. 
Great. All right, as I said, it's the most popular spot in Wadsworth today. It's about 100 degrees out here, and you can see this great grizzly outdoor pool. Kathy, tell us a little bit about what goes on out here. We operate the grizzly pool for the city of Wadsworth from Memorial Day to Labor Day. We open at 11 a.m. for season pass holders and at 12 o'clock for general admission. And as you can see, it's just a nice spot for families to gather. We have a uh, leisure pool, which is much more shallow and able to be enjoyed uh, by non-swimmers and swimmers alike, as well as a deep, deeper pool on this side that has diving board and a drop slide. We're for um, general admission prices and hours of operation. We can pull up the Facebook page at the Grizzly Outdoor Pool, the Wadsworth Grizzly Outdoor Pool, um, as well as go on the Wadsworth YMCA's uh, website for additional information, or you're always free to call us and ask additional questions. All right. Well, Kathy, thank you so much today. We are very blessed and lucky to have such a great, great director of aquatics here and uh, really thank you for being our first guest on the show judy fun show today huh absolutely i don't think you could have picked a better person than this to help yeah. with and, I, and i know we just touched on it i mean we we, did, we talked about a lot but there are so many good programs we'll probably have to do another aquatic show we'll call it part two kathy's aquatic kingdom how about that is that good all right so thank you for joining us for why at the why we've got our one more date we want to give you august 25th august August 25th is the next registration day for fall programs, not, not just aquatics, but youth sports and um, all of our fall programming. And we'll be talking about that on our next edition of Why the Why, as well as a wrap-up of summer camps. Thanks for joining us. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.